so now we're going to talk about isolation. The main reason for isolation is to meet various safety and regulation standards. Uh, but also you can use the is isolation in order to get multiple rails uh, uh, from a, a same power supply. For example, you can have a isolated power supply with a transformer that has got multiple windings on the secondary and therefore you can get multiple voltages. In power supplies, the output voltage is isolated from the main input voltage using a transformer. For example, like a flyback converter, which is what we're about to do in the class. For analog power supplies, the controller IC usually is placed on the primary side of the transformer. And the transformer is providing isolation. But we need to somehow take a measurement of the output voltage and feed it back into the primary side in order to get closed loop control. Um, so we have spent all this time and energy in order to electrically isolate the primary from the secondary. But now we've got a bit of a problem because we need to measure the output on the secondary which is referenced to a different ground and somehow feed it back to the primary side in order to close the feedback loop. And the most common way of achieving it is by using an optocoupler and a programmable reference IC such as a TL431. So here I have got a standard two switch forward converter. Here you can see the transformer and uh, this is my primary side, this is my transformer, and this is my secondary side. You will see that the grounds are, they've got different symbols because they are referenced to different grounds. And this is the isolation boundary. So the secondary is electrically isolated from the primary, but somehow I need to get a measure of the output voltage and I need to feed it back across the isolation boundary to the primary side. And I do this using this optocoupler here. I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. So if I look at the uh, typical isolated power supply in its simplest form, you can see that there are two main components that is, that is different to a standard power supply. And one of them is the optocoupler, and the other one is the programmable reference. That's the opto, and that's the reference. So. The reference is just like an op-amp and it provides compensation. We have studied in the last few days type 2, type 3 compensation and we're going to talk about that a little bit uh, in a little bit as to how you do that across the reference. Uh, the opto is the bit that provides the isolation. The VCE, the collector emitter voltage of the opto, as you can see from this diagram, is in fact inversely proportional to the LED current. So, here is my LED current. As the current across this LED, all of this is inside one package, increases, you get more light shining onto this junction here and the transistor will turn on more. When the transistor turns on more, the voltage drop across here will decrease. Therefore, VCE of the uh, transistor is now inversely proportional to the amount of current that's passing through here. And I have got a measure of my output voltage which I am now sending back across to my primary side which is where, I want, where my uh, controller IC sits. The uh, forward kind of diode is directly proportional to V out. You can see that when V out goes up, the forward current goes up. When the forward current goes up, VCE goes down, that goes to the feedback pin and beauty comes down. Conversely, if the out goes down, forward current goes down, the amount of light will go down, VCE will go up and the duty will increase. So you can see that I have got a nice negative feedback loop now around my power supply despite the fact that these two sides, secondary and primary, are actually electrically isolated. 